welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, I am doing a What I Got For Christmas 2023. This is up a little bit later than when I was hoping to upload it, but as you can imagine, Christmas has been so, so busy, and this is the only time I've had to literally sit down for a good hour and just film a video. I love filming these videos, and I know that you guys love watching these, so in no way, shape, or form am I filming this to brag. I love filming these, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well. But if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We hit 91K and I literally can't thank you all enough. We are so, so close now to 100K and all I'm gonna say is if you're a newbie here and you don't know what I'm on about, 100K, there is a huge giveaway literally huge like no one i don't think anyone's guessed it yet we are heading into the new year and we've got a new goal of hitting 100k and i literally cannot wait you guys are amazing i'll also put my social medias on the screen as well now there's loads of christmasy content over on those as well so make sure you do go and check them out but without further ado let's head into what i got for christmas 2023 i'm actually really cozy today guys like i'm in the corner i'm in a little bit of a new setting i haven't ever really filmed here before i'm just kind of like in the corner of the spare bedroom this used to be my old bedroom and now it's the spare bedroom but first before we head into the video i hope you all had the most amazing christmas celebrating with family friends loved ones i really do hope that you all had the best time i'm actually editing and filming this in the same day and it's the 28th so i hope you had a nice boxing day as well i just hope you all had a really really lovely day i'm actually really loving this filming spot I don't know why, I just really like it, it feels really cosy. So I've got things from like my mum, my dad, I've got Harrison. Me and my family actually done Secret Santa this year. So we only bought for one person in the family, which actually worked out like really good because otherwise we buy for like 20 plus people. And as you can imagine, that is a lot of money. Um, so my auntie Hayley got me this year and she booked us a table at the Fallow in London. I do love this week in between Christmas and New Year's because I just feel like I can properly relax. Harrison's off work we're spending a lot of time together and I do really really love this week so I'm not complaining because we're still in the Christmassy spirit but obviously the actual Christmas day is over which is really sad but it means one step closer to summer and me and Harrison are going on some really exciting holidays this year um, as well as like with my family and things so I'm really excited to kickstart the new year and summer but enough of me waffling why am I waffling so much I just feel like I haven't catched up with you guys like in a while even though it's been literally like a week since I last filmed my video. So these were from my mum. I have literally loved these for a very long time. So it's quite funny because Harrison saw these and he was like, what do you think of these? And I was like, you know what? I don't know how to feel about them, but now they're here, I am literally obsessed. And then I was like, I'm not sure how to feel about them. And then I looked at them and I was like, no, I actually really like them. Then I added them to my Christmas list and my mom got me these new ballads. They are very controversial. I don't think they're everyone's favorite, but I love them and I just think they're really cool. These are the 530s and I'm actually surprised these were in stock because I feel like every new balance shoe is always sold out. I actually think they'll go really nice with this tracksuit as well, which is from Zara that Harrison's parents got me. I did upload it on my story. You can't really see it, but they're really nice little tracky bottoms and a jacket, really, really comfy. That would actually go really well with these trainers. I feel like you could wear a lot with these. And I actually surprised Harrison with um, Manchester for Christmas. So we're actually heading down there next week for a few days. And I'm actually really excited for that. So I definitely think these are gonna be coming with me. I can't wait to like style them and wear some really nice outfits. Um, but yeah, we're heading to Manchester for the first time. I literally can't wait. I've never been to Manchester. I've always wanted to go, I've just never been. So I surprised him with that for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to style these. Next up, let's do Harrison actually, what Harrison got me. We are actually going to Eastwell Manor, which is a little spa near me. It's beautiful. And I said to him for the longest time, I was like, I would literally really love to do that one day with you. And he surprised me with it for Christmas. I literally cannot wait to go and do that. Just have some relaxation. I feel like this year I've got a lot planned and a lot of things in the diary already, which I'm really excited about. I'm waffling again, but don't you just love having things in the diary that you can look forward to? So early on within the year like I look back into I look back into like April and there's things there and I'm like okay but well, I can look forward to that um sorry waffling again going off track that's what Holly does best really lucky and Harrison surprised me with the spa so we are having an overnight stay as well I am just such a hotel like overnight staying girl I just love staying in hotels this is my thing and then he also got me 
some of these like clover bracelets i love these i wear these all the time i'm actually wearing the necklace to what one is it this bracelet at the minute i need to actually put the bracelet on but it's quite hard to do when it's just me i have to get someone to do it for me i saw it online um and i think harrison may have got my list from like my mum or erin because these were on my list um and then it's like this really beautiful like pink one as well with like a little seal like with a little like sparkly one there and then a pink one. I love these so much. They're the prettiest bracelets ever. I'm gonna try and put this one on my by myself. Oh my gosh, she's done it first time. She's done it. He got me like quite a few little bits, but some of them are next door because I'm not gonna fit everything in. But I have seen these hair oils all over TikTok. It's like torrential rain outside right now. I feel like they've been getting very popular lately, um, especially this Rapunzel one. I am a hair oil gal. I love hair oils, so he got me a pack of four, but it came in this like really cute little hamper. So we've got all different ones here. We've got like a watermelon milk, We've got the Rapunzel, the mint conditioner, and the original. And then it also comes in this little hamper with like two claw clips, a scrunchie, and this is a hair butter as well, which I'm excited to try. That was really cute. He definitely took some notes on that one, um, because I only mentioned it once or twice, but yeah, I really like this. And I love the fact that it gives you a bit of everything so I can try all new things. Actually, one thing that I did want to mention from Harrison as well, he definitely takes notes because look what he got me. You guys probably know that I love grenade bars especially the oreo ones and they have bought out a white oreo best believe now i'm obsessed with these ones they're such a good source of protein these are 20 grams of protein and i have this as like a little pudding at night time with some strawberries i melt these in the microwave for about 30 seconds that's all they need and trust me it's so good just run to get a parcel guys and i'm so out of breath from running up the stairs wow all that christmasy food eh i am yeah very lucky i've got a huge box now to keep me going and something that you don't really like buying yourself so just a bonus really so this year i actually asked for like a few little skincare-y makeup bits so i got gifted this set it's quite hard to probably see if i bring it up closer there we go sorry the light was reflecting on it it's the coco Co it's the coco cosmetics by chloe oh that's a tongue twister so i use these sponges like every single day and i just feel like i needed a little refresh and like a new set of everything this is one of the sponge shapes and then you've got the four ones in here and the mini ones and then you've also got the cleanser as well so it's a really cute set actually my mum got me this and it's just really nice because it has everything that i need in it very happy with that because i love this brand my dad bless him i think he may ask erin for some help when it comes to things like this because he doesn't probably know what he's buying or looking at. I was very lucky to receive quite a few face creams and moisturizers. All the ones I'd kind of looked at throughout the year and I'm like, they look really good. So let's start with the Tatcha. The Tatcha face cream, I'm a huge fan of this cream. I use this every single day. So it looks like this. It's such a good face cream. But that was one of the four creams that I was lucky enough to receive. Now we're moving on to some Drunk Elephant. This is one of the creams I've seen. My auntie actually uses this every day and says how much of a game changer it is and she really loves it. And I love the novelty again, like the little like pump. I don't want to do it because I'm not going to use it yet. The same with like Skin and Me where you can get like the fixed amount. That They're the kind of products that I love so then you know you're not using too much or too less. But yeah, this is the polypeptide cream. So I've never actually tried this but I'm excited to now start using it. It's like strengthening and moisturising. So we've got quite a few new moisturisers. I feel like I had to try this. This was the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. I just feel like this is raved about so much. So I was like, I have to join the hype and I have to try it. So again, it's got the same little like, oh no. Why should I do that? I think because that one didn't pump out, I didn't think this one would. But can you see what I mean? Like it gives you a set amount. Maybe I'll just um, use it on my hands. Maybe I'll just use it on my hands bit of a moisturising cream on my hands. So yeah, we've also got the whipped cream as well. Um, and then last but not least with the moisturisers. I can't remember who I was with, but I was in blue water. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, but it's the water version. I actually quite like like water-based like moisturisers and all stuff like that. But I love anything water-based. And when I saw the Magic Cream had a water-based one, I was like sold that more of like a jelly consistency to it if that makes sense very excited to try that on i received the glow recipe toner and again it's one of those things that i have seen literally everywhere like the everyone puts it on their hands and just yeah 
that's what I've been waiting to do. Um, I'm really excited to try this. This is the Watermelon Glow. It's in a really cute pink bottle. It looks so good. So yeah, got that one that I can't wait to try. And I've also got these Paula's Choice. I've never actually used Paula's Choice before, but this is a little... Um, skincare bundle with the minis which i actually really like the principles of minis because i feel like you can try these out before buying like the big things it is the essential glow moisturizer look how cute that is and they're really good for traveling as well um and then this is the the exfoliant that everyone uses as well that i feel like i need to join the hype on i just feel like i'm keep saying i'm really excited to try those i'm really excited to try those but i really am like isn't everyone excited to use all their christmasy bits like i love just laying it out and just looking at it i got a Soldier de Niro jet set and I'm a Soldier de Niro fan. I'm a number one fan over here. Everyone in my family says it. If there's the biggest Soldier de Niro fan in the world, it's gonna be me. My dog's just come back from a walk and she is drenched. So we're actually going away in March, um, which is only literally like two months away and I cannot wait. Peppa's just doing zoomies. So this is definitely going to be coming away with me. Right, of course, <coughs> new gym wear. I, I feel like it's Abel, Abel. Harrison, how would you say this? AYBL. AYBL. Oh my god, I've been saying it completely wrong then. Um, anyway, got some really lovely new gym wear. I love this brand. I love going to the gym wearing this. Um, nice like scrunch bum leggings. And it's like a really nice like grey, like marbly colour. And there's no better feeling than going to the gym with all new gym wear. It's just the best thing in the world getting new gym wear. And as well as the leggings, I love wearing these on like a leg and glutes day. So these are like the shorts version of the leggings. So I've got best both worlds. I could wear leggings or I could wear the shorts. But yeah, they're a really, really nice colour and I can't wait to wear these. I love wearing new gym wear. It's just the best, you know what, it's the best motivation. Everyone asks me, why is my camera gone like that? No! Everyone asks me what the best motivation is. New gym wear. But I get on to our last little bits. Um, Harrison actually also got me these. Forgot to mention, pimple patches are an essential to me. I've literally only discovered them this year and they are so great. I don't know how I lived without them before because my skin thanks me when I use these. Again, another brand I'm not quite sure how to pronounce, but... <laughs> Why do I keep dropping everything? I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it is the famous hair oil um, that I have also been seeing everywhere. Um, but this hair oil, again, it's a TikTok favourite, isn't it? I've seen it all over TikTok, so I'm going to try it. Actually, I could try it today. I've just curled my hair. Like, I had it curled yesterday because I saw my family. So I just added in just added in a few more curls, but like I could just run some oil through my ends. I had a haircut as well. It makes all the difference. I love having my haircut. This is a really cute mini set from the Beauty Crop. This is also on my list because I have literally seen these and I thought one I love a mini and two that's adorable and so good for traveling again Let's open it. I might have to rip the box because I've got no scissors for sellotape I use these sprays anyway, and um, but they do take up quite a lot of room in your makeup bag. So voila This is just what we needed. Look at these. We've got some perfume as well and um, which was from family This is the best perfume ever I absolutely adore this. I wear this every day. Everyone always compliments me, so it's a great perfume. From my parents, I was really, really lucky to have received this, and it's the most beautiful thing that I have literally ever seen. I'm wrapping up the video a little bit here with a last two couple of bits. This is a YSL card holder. I have seen this for quite a long time, and I love it. Look at that. It's stunning. I have a key pouch that Harrison bought me like a couple of years ago, but sometimes it's just too bulky to fit in some of my smaller bags. So I thought to myself, like actually having a card holder, I've never had one before, it probably is a really good idea. I love YSL, I'm a huge, huge fan of YSL's bags, key pouches, like card holders. I just feel like YSL's a really classy brand, I really love it. This was from my parents as well. I'm really excited for this. So when I go to Harrison's for the night or like a couple of nights, I don't really have a nice overnight bag. So I asked for this bag on Etsy. I didn't actually realize it was gonna be this big, but it's great because it'll fit a lot in there. But it's a personalized little overnight bag. It's got HB there. It's so nice and it's huge. So it's gonna be great for like overnight stays if I'm going away for the weekend. It's literally massive. It's gonna fit so much. Oh. I didn't realise it come with a strap as well so you can wear it like crossbody. It may not pick it up as well on the camera but it's such a lovely bag. Like a little whoop like that. It actually goes really nice with this tracksuit as well. Like this so I can fit all my stuff in it. Is it even Christmas if you don't buy yourself a little gift and treat yourself? I love a new bag. I'm obsessed with bags. But I have seen this bag for a while and 
I really liked it and it came on sale a couple of days before Christmas and it's from Jacumus, Jacumus, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, people say it all different ways, don't they? And it came on sale a couple of days before Christmas. I definitely didn't need it, and Harrison <laughs> was like, you know what, he's so done with me, guys, because I buy these bags, and he's like, what do you actually need this for? Like, you've got other ones. I'm like, I'm just obsessed with bags, okay? One thing I just love spending my money on, and some would say that's absolutely ridiculous. And I am also really good at saving as well, but as well as saving, I also love treating myself to a new bag here and there. And this is the new bag. I've never had a bag from Jacquemus before. I'm gonna call it Jacquemus for now. It may not be right what I'm saying, but I've never actually had a bag from here before and I've always wanted one. Um, and I think my excuse is that because it came on sale, it felt right just to do it. But this is my new bag that I did treat myself to. But it's actually got a lot of room in there, so it's quite nice, it's like a nice everyday bag, but then it could, could also be like a really nice going out bag as well. I did treat myself um, for a Christmas present from me to me, um, so yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. I'm so sorry that I, as well that I, I didn't release this when I was meant to on Tuesday, so I'm sorry that it's running a little bit later, but I hope you guys do enjoy watching this. If you did, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. I'm very, very grateful and lucky to have received all of this, and I just want to say thank you to all my family, friends, everyone, if you're watching this. Mwah! Well, the best Christmas present as well that I could ask for is having your guys' support because you support me non-stop. You are the, always the best gift ever, guys, because you just support me in so many different ways and I can't thank you all enough. We've got a really um, exciting couple of weeks coming up, so I may or may not be vlogging that. So next week you'll see a really good video. All my videos are good, what am I saying? No, I'm joking. Because um, me and Harrison are obviously looking at Manchester. We're doing Manchester for the first time and all different things, so it's only right to bring you guys along with us. But I'm waffling now. I've done this the whole video, so I apologise, but mwah! Peace, love, rubber gloves, and I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye!